Max Joy, thanks for joining us. Max, playing tonight at standoff half. How do you think you went? Yeah, quite steady. Um, I had a late call up into, uh, into half-back. Paul gave us a ring um, this afternoon. He said Mason's pulled out due to illness. So, you know, it's probably my, my second position um, to, to play. And, you know, it's just good for me. It's not, you know, I mean, not just have one, um, one position to play full-back. So it's uh, having a variety of positions to play. And, you know, if, if something does happen later on down the line, then I can, uh, you know, step up and fill that space. And lack of longs, they didn't do bad, did he, filling in the fullback? Yeah, really well. Um, especially that cut out past uh, left to right. I've been teaching him a few things in training. Um, but no, really well. Yeah, he just looks like a natural. You know, he's he's carrying really well, support play really well, and talking to me out back. And he made my job a lot easier as well. So, you know, all around, I think we're really good. Happy with your kicking, field kicking, goal kicking? Yeah, everything. You know, we've done a lot of practice with uh, with Shenny. You know, just the little details on, on striking the ball and, and goal kicking and stuff like that. And just, you know, the, the small little things you don't really think about and you know you take it into a game and you know that training pays off I think we found a new favourite haven't we Jerry McGilvery actually <laughs> yeah mate if Griff keeps giving him balls like that then he's, got, he's scoring them then happy days so yeah Jay's out of backfield as well you know all the stuff that, that sort of goes unnoticed his, his yard his carries getting us out getting us quick play of the ball and then you know as, as, as centres Pratty and, and Crofty getting, getting on the back of that and then his middles coming as well you know we, we rolled them quite well in, in parts of that game and you know that's when us ask and step up and you know get the fancy players on and and stuff like that. I just thought we connected really well. Uh, me and Miles a bit of a new partnership, and you know we just tried to play as simple as we could, and you know just simple plays and, and complete. I think we were at ninety percent at half time, so you know if you're at about eighty percent, you know you're gonna have a chance to win game. Now next week we travel to York. It really does get serious. It's the start of the 1895 trophy and a possible road to Wembley. <laughs> yeah, we we spoke about it when we went away last week. What sort we want to achieve? Team this year, and, and that were, were one of them. You know, win that win that cup, and you know, for a few lads that um, that are coming through, the younger lads, you know, they're getting the chance to play at Wembley. I mean, another one for me as well. I played there when I was younger, but you know, that was year seven. I was really young, and to have a chance to go back and play there, it, 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 I mean, be really, really good. So, you know, we're looking at that, and then we're looking at the Challenge Cup the week after. We want to have a good run in that, and then obviously the league starts in in March. So, you know, we've got a big couple of weeks coming up. And finally, Max, you played here at Trinity with Tash, Maddie Ashes for nine seasons, just sum up what you think he's been like as Trinity's captain and as a player. Yeah, just an overall leader. He, he does a lot of the stuff on the pitch that people don't really notice, them little 1% efforts. And, you know, as, as an halfback, if I were on his side, he's the person I'd want inside of me. You know, he, he does so much work and makes my life so much easier and half's life so much easier. And, you know, I was speaking to Milky before the game as well. He played a lot of time with, with Tash on, on that left edge. and. He just said, like, Tash made his life so much easier with the little efforts he does and on and off the field. You know, he's not a loud character, but, you know, he keeps us in a bit under the radar. But, you know, he's a massive player for us and he's a great lad as well. And I'm buzzing for him that he had a really good turnout today. He deserves it. Cheers, Max. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, mate.